Hello man of word, we truly appreciate that you joined us. We are glad that we can support you in your further development. Today's topic is about five lessons that everyone should learn from the book Money, Master the Game, comma, written by Tony Robbins. So, let's begin. Welcome to amanoford.com, the most refreshing network in the business world. Why should you pay close attention to this? 1. You will learn why that anticipation is the ultimate power. 2. You will learn why you should not trade time for money. And 3. You will learn that you have to save to invest. Money is unquestionably one of the techniques we can turn the ideas we have into the reality we live. But one thing is for sure, you control money or money controls you. So, let's dive in. Lesson 1 Money In this book is written that, few words have the power to provoke such extreme human emotions. A lot of us refuse to even talk about money. Like religion, sex, or politics, the topic is taboo at the dinner table and often off limits in the workplace. We might discuss wealth in polite company, but money is explicit. It's raw. It's garish. It's intensely personal and highly charged. It can make people feel guilty when they have it, or ashamed when they don't. But what does it really mean? For some of us, money is vital and crucial but not paramount. It's simply a tool, a source of power used in service of others and a life well lived. Others are consumed with such a hunger for money that it destroys them and everyone around them. Some are even willing to give up things that are far more valuable to get it, their health, their time, their family, their self-worth, and, in some cases, even their integrity. At its core, money is about power. We've all seen how money can have the power to create or the power to destroy. It can fund a dream or start a war. You can provide money as a gift or wield it as a weapon. It can be used as an expression of your spirit, your creativity, your ideas, or your frustration, your anger, your hate. It can be used to influence governments and individuals. Some marry for it, and then find out its real price. But we all know that on some level it's an illusion. Money isn't even gold or paper today, it's zeros and ones in banking computers. What is it? It's like a shapeshifter or a canvas, assuming whatever meaning or emotion we project on it. In the end, money isn't what we're after, is it? What we're really after are the feelings, the emotions, we think money can create, that feeling of empowerment, of freedom, of security, of helping those we love and those in need, of having a choice, and of feeling alive. Money is certainly one of the ways we can turn the dreams we have into the reality we live. But even if money is just a perception, an abstract concept, it doesn't feel that way if you don't have enough of it. And one thing is for sure, you either use it, or it uses you. You either master money, or, on some level, money masters you. Lesson 2, you have to anticipate the road ahead. In this book is written that, tell me something, have you ever had that experience? You know, the completely humiliating experience of playing a video game against a child. Who always wins? The child, of course. But how does she do it? Is she smarter, quicker, stronger? Here's how it works. You're visiting your niece or nephew, and she or he will say, come play it with me, Uncle Tony. You immediately protest, no, no, I don't know this game. You go ahead and play. And they say, come on, it's easy. Just let me just show you. Then they shoot a few bad guys when they pop up on the screen. You still resist, so they start pleading. Come on. Come on. Please, please, please. You love this kid, so you give in. Then she says the simple words that tell you you're being set up, you go first. So you decide you're gonna make it happen. You're going to show this kid a thing or two. And then what? Bam. 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 In 3.4 seconds, you're dead. Shot in the side of the head. Smoked. Then the kid takes the gun, and suddenly it's bam 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 bam. The bad guys are dropping from the sky and whizzing around every corner in hyperspeed. The kid is anticipating every move and picking them off, and about 45 minutes later, you get your second turn. Now you're ticked off, and even more committed. This time you last a full 5 seconds. And she goes another 45 minutes. You know the drill. So why do these kids always win? Is it because they have better reflexes? Is it because they're faster? No. It's because they've played the game before. They already have one of the greatest secrets to wealth and success in life, they can anticipate the road ahead. Remember this, anticipation is the ultimate power. Losers react, leaders anticipate. Lesson 3, Become an Investor. In this book is written that, you are already a financial trader. You might not think of it in just this way, but if you work for a living, you're trading your time for money. Frankly, it's just about the worst trade you can make. Why? 
you can always get more money, but you can't get more time. I don't want to sound like one of those tearjerker MasterCard commercials, but we all know that life is made up of priceless moments. Moments that you'll miss if you're trading your time for money. Sure, from time to time, we all need to miss a dance recital or a date night when duty calls, but our precious memories aren't always there for the taking. Miss too many of them, and you might start to wonder what it is you're really working for, after all. Lesson 4, The Anti-Time Machine. In this book is written that, look at it this way, you're an ATM of another kind, only in your case, the acronym might remind you of that lousy time for money trade. You've become an anti-time machine. It might sound like the stuff of science fiction, but for many of you it's reality. You've set things up so that you give away what you value most, time, in exchange for what you need most, income, and if you recognize yourself in this description, trust me, you're getting the short end of the deal. Are we clear on this? If you stop working, you stop making money. So let's take you out of the equation and look for an alternative approach. Let's build a money machine to take your place, and let's set it up in such a way that it makes money while you sleep. Think of it like a second business, with no employees, no payroll, no overhead. Its only inventory is the money you put into it. Its only product? A lifetime income stream that will never run dry, even if you live to be 100. Its mission? To provide a life of financial freedom for you and your family, or future family, if you don't have one yet. Lesson 5, Save to Invest. In this book is written that, don't even think of it as savings. I call it your freedom fund, because freedom is what it's going to buy you, now and in the future. Understand, this money represents just a portion of what you earn. It's for you and your family. Save a fixed percentage each pay period, and then invest it intelligently, and over time you'll start living a life where your money works for you instead of you working for your money. What are the best things to remember from this? 1. Anticipate the road ahead. 2. Don't trade time for money. And 3. Save to invest. Well, our list ends here, let us know in the comment section what are your thoughts about our list. Thank you for watching until the end and if you found this helpful don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell button to be notified for every new learning opportunity. And always remember man of word, be aware of the person that you can become.